The government of St. Lucia continues climate resilience efforts through a donation of water tanks to assist farmers during this COVID-19 era. Pillar 6 of the St. Lucia Economic Recovery and Resilience Plan focuses on disaster risk mitigation and climate change. Policy intervention number 32 under this pillar calls for the provision of 800 water tanks to vulnerable communities and essential public services to ensure water security in the event of a natural disaster. In 2020, over 382 water tanks were presented to local churches, NGOs, and service organizations. Anisia Antoine reports on this latest donation to the farming community. St. Lucia's agricultural sector continues to play a dominant role in its socio-economic development and is a major factor in determining the food and nutrition security of the country. The sector continues to face threats of climate change, whilst simultaneously encountering new threats sparked by the COVID-19 pandemic. The Government of St. Lucia, through the Economic Recovery and Resilience Plan, has donated 190 water tanks to St. Lucian farmers. Chief Economist of the Ministry of Economic Development, Housing, Urban Renewal, Transport and Civil Aviation, Tommy Descart, notes that the initiative complements an additional 382 tanks which were delivered to various public institutions, including NEMO, police stations and faith-based organizations, as part of the Social Stabilization Plan launched last year. In the onset of covid the Department of Economic Development and the Ministry of Finance uh, embarked on the development of an economic recovery and resilience plan. Uh, and this plan was essentially to help uh, the economy, um, help livelihoods, persons that are vulnerable. And in crafting the plan, we saw it fit that we needed to include the Ministry of Agriculture because one, while we face the pandemic, we also face a climate crisis. Um, and climate impacts farmers um, in, in many ways. Uh, you, we know the increasing intensity of natural um, um, hazards and, and, and the frequency, but also in terms of the drought conditions and so on. So we are very happy today um, that we are launching this initiative. Descartes explains that all tanks were procured from a local supplier in an effort to stimulate the manufacturing sector. Kenisha Arno, a benefiting farmer, expressed gratitude on behalf of all recipients for the donation. I would like to sincerely thank them for providing me with this water tank, as well as everyone else. It will be of great use, especially for the upcoming dry season, with proper storage of water, being able to manage the crops, and also my poultry farm. The project was funded by the World Bank through resources reallocated from the Disaster Vulnerability Reduction Project. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Agriculture, I am Anisia Antoine reporting.